Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TNG and we're back with a brand new video and we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of Limon's Ultimate that is out at the moment, everyone's been playing it, been having a blast but we're going to sort of focus on both sides of the coin at the moment because there are some downsides even though I do think the game has got massive potential but anyway guys, let's get stuck into the video So before we get started, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, make sure you do that now and um, yeah, for all you guys who want to learn how to make setups and build setups for yourself, remember I do have my book on Amazon at the moment, Performance Unleashed GT Edition, which you can purchase from Amazon, um, depending where you are in the world, the different Amazon stores. But anyway, guys, um, for me personally right now, really liking what they've done with Le Mans Ultimate. Um, I'm going to start off with the pros because why not? Um, I feel like the game has got a excellent platform and I did make a video a few weeks ago saying is this game going to be an ACC killer and I still actually think this game has the potential to do that especially once we start getting DLCs and stuff like that the base foundation is very 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 good and for the most part what I would say is it's extremely fun it's very fun to play this game it's not like you know with ACC at the moment I feel like everything's just a grind this game is nice to pick up and play. Um, I will say there definitely is a, you know, a, a caveat to that because this game is not an easy game. It's not something that you could pick up and play easily. You kind of have to, you know, brush up on your driving skills a little bit. And that's probably why, so far, my experience is I'm, I'm not seeing any real big, you know, any idiots online. I'm not seeing people doing ridiculous moves and big crashes that trying to take people out in races for the most part everyone's just trying to have clean racing and that's something that i really admire and i believe that is because of the level of skill that it takes in this game to race competitively at a decent pace i'm not saying i'm the fastest but you know i would say i've probably got decent pace at best at the moment um i love the braking i feel like it is rewarding and punishing all at the same time um if you are one of those people that just slam your foot down and stuff like that then you're gonna struggle but there are ways around it of course you can reduce brake pressure you can mess with your if you if you have load cell pedals you can mess with your load cell pedals and also you know edit some things in, in your software to make braking a little bit easier but for the most part i love the way it locks up if you try to push it too far into the braking zone and again that's why we're probably not seeing ridiculous dive bombs now when you're racing people you know if you're too far behind at going into a corner you're just too far back you can send it on the brakes but trust me it's not going to end well for you so um that's something i really like it's not really like other games where you're pretty much just you know if you really want a position you can literally just absolutely stand on the brakes aim it towards the apex and you can probably make it all right you might take a couple of people out but you can still get the car stopped on this game if if you're too if you're if you're too ambitious on the brakes mate you, you're only going to ruin your own race and your tires so um really really like that about the game um and for me it's just it's just been a, a breath of fresh air it's definitely different when i play this i don't feel like you know it feels like acc or it feels like this game i didn't get to play r factor 2 so i can't give a reference to that i know a lot of people said it feels exactly like a updated r factor 2 which is cool because I never played it before and if R Factor 2 feels like this then maybe I should have tried it earlier but for me personally I feel like the basis is you know it's no worse off than how I felt about ACC when ACC first came out there was definitely some issues that ACC had um, but in the end it grew into what it is today and I believe that this game has definitely got that potential um, for me the wheel to wheel racing on this game is probably higher than acc because of the fact you can rub doors a little bit without getting absolutely catapulted you know and that's something that you know every game needs it needs to be a little bit robust when you're in wheel to wheel battles so it does feel like you know you can get a little bit argy bargy without both of you dying but for the most part what i will say is people are just leaving space man when you're when i'm going wheel to wheel with people they're leaving me space no one's trying any like crazy dirty maneuvers and it's just cool and i think that is because this isn't a casual game this game does have a skill gap so most casual players that just want to jump in and just mess around in lobbies they're just not on the game so that may change <laughs> in the future as it progresses and i'm probably going to make a point 
um my cons might you know contradict some of my points but it's not a perfect world so that's gonna happen later on for sure um for me the online mode is is brilliant it's literally like playing it's literally like being on lfm everyone knows what lfm is it's a platform where you have your your rating you can build rating and you go up against drivers who are at a similar skill level and you know the races are organized every every hour or whatnot and this has the same sort of ranking system and it's done very well it's done better than the competition servers that acc had and acc took a while to bring that out and the this game has just been released and they've got it spot on in terms of the um the the, the ranked races i think it is spot on um can't complain obviously at the moment you know we're getting some rapid guys in the lobby and then some guys who are much slower in the lobby but i believe with time that will start to sort itself out and i can only imagine some of the bigger longer events are going to be even better so um can't wait for that feel like the game is just you know there's in terms of the driving experience right in terms of the actual gameplay itself there's very few complaints that i actually have you know um i feel like for the most part it's it's pretty positive and it's fun like normally for me i have a race have a couple of races and some games i can get a little bit bored but i've been on this game all day just grinding ranked races just just generally having fun for me the lmp2 is nice to drive the um gte is pretty standard to drive i will say the hypercars they are <laughs> they are very difficult but there's one thing i actually thought about today in terms of you know how difficult the hypercars are to get a handle on and be able to drive them quickly is when you do start to see i don't know big races that will probably be streamed and stuff like that because i'm sure this game has the potential to have those big streamed events like we see for acc like with the sro and stuff like that i believe this game will get to that stage too um it kind of gives you the feeling like um like people are gonna sort of be put in their place not in a bad way but you know the very elites at the game you'll probably see them doing the hypercar so if we're doing like a mixed multi-class you know the real elite players you're probably going to see them doing the the hypercars and then the guys who are probably not as skilled you might see them in the lmp2s and it kind of gives that sort of aura of you know like people being in their correct level their correct car and i like that it's not like you know people just mixed everywhere you have some guys in a hypercar that are like five six seconds off the pace of the actually actual quick guys it feels like all the elite guys will be in the hypercars the guys who are like a step down might be in the lmp2s and then you have the rest of us in the gtes you know and um i i feel like that's pretty cool man and i can see that happening in the future and definitely when there are events on in the future i will definitely be locked in because you know seeing some of the fast guys in this game banging out insane times you know you can only be in awe so i can't wait till those sort of situations come up and um yeah for me definitely positive um as i said before the driving itself is great the sounds sound great the cars sound amazing um for me very very positive on that side also the tracks look top notch in terms of graphics and stuff like that i cannot complain at all especially because some of these tracks is the kind of tracks that we wanted to see on other games like acc and you know if you was to turn your settings up to max can you honestly say this game looks any worse than acc no the game looks amazing definitely the the, the tracks look great as well and for me personally visually i find it quite appeasing so um definitely another thing in the locker that i believe they've done very 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 well um but i will get on to the cons now because they are a few cons and as i said i'm probably gonna contradict myself a little bit but for me the cons are things that can be fixed pretty easily so um, let's get stuck into the cons so the first thing i'm gonna say that i probably dislike a little bit is actually the um the fact that every time you do a ranked race you're in a session every time the session changes you have to redo your fuel your brakes and stuff like that and it would be much easier if you know what you've saved or what you saved in the pit lane in your practice just carries all the way through through to quali and stuff like that because sometimes you might forget man and if you forget from sort of practice to quali and you, 
you start qualying, all of a sudden you've got like 81 liters trying to do quality because you forgot. Um, I feel like they could, little, little things like that, I feel like they can just brush up on. If you've already changed the fuel, you've already changed your brake bias and your, your TC settings, I think it should just save, you know? And it stops you from having to keep having to do the same thing over and over again because in quality, you don't actually get, you get like eight minutes and you spend about, you know, 45, 50 seconds sorting out your car at the start of the session every single time so maybe you actually lose a lap especially if you're not really quick on the buttons you probably lose an extra lap that you could probably get round and start a lap before the session ends you know if if that would just save so you could just leave the pitch straight away and um there'll be no issues but little problem i believe that can be sorted out it's it's not that deep especially you know once you get used to it you you just use it sort of doing your fuel over and over again but it can be kind of annoying at the same time um another thing i would say that is a little bit of a is a little bit of annoyance is the the bop currently um for the for the gtes it's just it's just a literally just a ferrari class pretty much and at the moment i feel like you know i'm not complaining too much about the bop right now as the game's just been released but I would say until the BOP is um, in the right, you know, in the in the right state, maybe when they do the, the fixed races, they should just make it fixed in one car. So even if they fix it for, I don't know, the Corvette, everyone has to be in a Corvette or everyone has to be in a Ferrari, everyone has to be in a Porsche because at the moment, if you're not in, in the Ferrari, it's pretty much not really fair. And it kind of, you know, I, I, I hate to see there be a variety of cars and still everyone feels the need to have to pick you know the ferrari because they just know that's your best chance of a, of a good result and if you're if you pick something else and then literally 85 percent of the lobby has picked a ferrari you're probably going to be up against it just getting a, a decent result in ranked which is kind of annoying if you're looking to build your points and stuff like that and you don't want to drive a ferrari um things like that i, I believe maybe they should you know kind of if they're gonna make it fix sort of like the lmp2s it's like they seem to be all the same speed so it doesn't really matter what you pick they seem to be the same speed and that's what makes it you know i don't even i don't even think about what car to pick when i pick an lmp2 i just click ready you know whereas in the gtes it's sort of like oh i have to take the um i have to take the ferrari i'm forced to take the ferrari i believe the hyper cars i believe there's some difference in performance there as well which again is going to force people into whatever the op car is so i believe the bop should be sorted out and hopefully we'll get some much more variety or if that can't happen just make the fixed races one car for that particular race and track combination and that's what i would probably do or go with in terms of um balancing out the races um next thing i would say that needs to be fixed i know there is a couple third party apps you can get is no radar so like if you're like me who plays on a normal 27 inch single screen you can't look well i can look left but and look right but there's so many buttons in this game i've assigned my left and right buttons to other things because there are things that are more important than looking left and looking right um so i've assigned my my buttons for other stuff while i'm in the car but having no radar is it is tough it is, when i'm side by side with people i don't generally i don't know where they are I'm kind of looking at the mini map to see whether I'm overlapping or not, or whether, you know, whether I'm crossing over their path or not. And sometimes I'm completely clear. And because I can't see them, you know, I'm still just sticking to one line, which might, might not even be the racing line. So they need to implement a radar. For all you guys who want a radar, want a third party app to, to get a radar up, I think Dan Suzuki has done a video on that. I'll leave that in the description below. Hopefully you guys can go check that out. Um, but yeah, they need to import some sort of radar in because, you know, especially when you're racing with people with similar pace and, you know, you're going wheel to wheel, you kind of you kind of need that, particularly at the start of races. Now, I know there has been a lot of other problems as well, like games crashing, not being able to run the game at certain um, resolutions and qualities and stuff like that. I personally haven't had those problems, but I do know that there are some people that have and I've sadly had to refund the game. So I'm going to include this for those people that have gone through those troubles. I personally haven't had those troubles. I'm not sure why that happens, but um, hopefully that's one thing they can get sorted out. And um, yeah, 
I'm going to move forward from that because, as I said, I'm not having those issues myself, so I can't really, you know, elaborate on that sort of situation. But one thing I will elaborate on, and this is the point where I said I'm going to be contradicting myself earlier, and that is a little bit of an issue with the traction control. Now, some might say it's a it's a it's a skill issue, but for me personally, I find it a little bit weird the behavior of the car coming out of particularly slow corners um, found it more in the GTEs than the, the LMP2s um, but it seems to be a little sometimes the, the grip level just seems to be a little bit random now you know there's three TC settings in the GTEs you've got the traction control you've got the traction control cut which is how powerful the traction comes in and then you've got the traction control slip now I've tried all different sorts of combinations i've tried one on the traction uh, four on the power eight on the slip i've tried six two six which is um default i've tried four four eight i've tried all sorts of different combinations of the traction control and um, maybe it does depend a little bit on the wheel you've got i am on an older generation wheel which does probably doesn't react as fast and it does have little bits of you know you know little bits of dead zone in the wheel when you when you go through certain corners i'm actually working on a video for people using the older wheels at the moment so that will be out soon as well but um i kind of find that the, the traction control is a little bit random i believe with these cars if they do have you know traction control settings then surely you know when you get to tight corners i, I experience it a lot at fuji with the the tight chicane in the last corner I can take it the same way two times in a row one time i will be fine onto the back straight the other time it will just all of a sudden your tires just go red randomly and it's like you're just steering from the rear of the car and i, I kind of find it a little bit random and then there's other times going around other corners where i've given it literally huge throttle opposite lock and it just sticks and it's just like it kind of doesn't make sense that's probably the thing that annoys me the most um, is the fact that I feel like the grip is a little bit random. I've even tried to put the engine map into racing lean, doing the last sector, and still the back end feels like it's snapping all over the place. And it seems to not really matter how much TC I'm running or what TC combination I'm using. It just slow corners. It's just, just, just does it. And I don't know why. And it just seems to be, you know, two places on the track where it happens the most. You know, at turn one, which is another slow corner, pretty much get my foot down and nothing ever happens. But the last corner and the chicane, sometimes it just comes across as a little bit random. And I feel like with the GTE cars, these cars do have a lot of grip. I know racing cars are a little bit clumsy, especially at slow speed, because obviously that's where the downforce is doing this least amount of work. But I still feel like if you are someone who may be not as skilled or you know and you feel like oh i'm gonna bang the traction control and once i get to these more difficult corners and it just feels like it doesn't do anything you'll go through the corner one minute you know you'll drive a certain way and you feel like you're not doing anything different you'll do it on the next lap and then the next minute you just spin out and it's just like what what did i do differently i'm driving the exact same way and i'm just getting two different results so i don't know man i personally feel like especially if you've got the traction control settings on a higher setting i feel like you should you know you shouldn't suffer coming out of the corners where the back end just steps around for no reason you know um especially because you depending on what wheel you got on my wheel which is a t300 sometimes there's literally just no warning like you're spinning before you've even before you even you know know what's going on you're already in a spin and you just you can't catch it so um me personally i hope that is something that maybe they can edit a little bit i'm not saying it should be easy because i like the skill gap but i feel like you know if you're going to put on a lot of, a lot of traction control it should make you slower out of the corner anyway but you're using tc because it is the safer option so i believe the tc should actually do a little bit more in those sort of scenarios because i feel like it's a little bit too like od i feel like it's a little bit too far like you know it's it's just you know it's over the threshold of what i would think is realistic i don't feel like it's you know that difficult to get on the power especially if you're not going crazy it's not as if you know just stamping my foot down and stuff like that and expecting grip that's not happening so um 
yeah those for me are the cons i generally don't really have any other complaints man i feel like the rest of the game is great um i feel like they've done an amazing job i believe the platform to to produce more and better racing in the future is definitely there and i i definitely see a bright future for this game and i'm gonna continue to play it i'm gonna continue to grind it because as i said i find it fun you know i've got a race on monday a league race on acc and <laughs> i haven't done a lap of practice i've literally been playing lamont ultimate all week so um yeah and that that's that's the one positive i can say about this game is that you know you're playing the game and you you don't need to be league racing you know you don't need to be in the league to enjoy it with acc it sort of feels like if there was no lfm if there was no aor yo game would probably be dead by now you know um thankfully for for leagues like lfm and aor they're um definitely saving the game this this game lamont ultimate already has these sort of features built in so it comes across as feeling like you, you're never gonna get bored because there's always something to do you know um but anyway guys tell me what you think in the comment section below tell me what's your pros your cons um if you like the video leave a like hit the subscribe button cryptic tng i'm out peace Thank you.